Disney Dreamlight Valley is releasing an early access this week, and as, to my shameful delight, a huge Disney Parks fan, just watch my previous video for proof. I could not be more excited. We've had the chance to play a decent chunk of Disney Dreamlight Valley, but is there enough of the questing and life sim activities to keep a gamer occupied? Well, to quote a certain famous mouse, oh boy, there sure is. To say Dreamlight Valley is full on from the get go is an understatement. Between fishing, farming, and upping your character's friendship levels, you will not be left wanting for something to do. But in order to get the main village up and running, you need to complete quests for characters like Mickey, Merlin, and Scrooge McDuck, during which you'll find the shovel, pickaxe, and watering can essential tools for gathering resources you will desperately need. Once you've established the village, you can farm, cook, mine, build, and explore. And all of it strikes a certain balance, where it's fast, but never feels stressful. Whoa -ho! More importantly than resource harvesting and making friends is getting out into the world, and in order to do that, you need to remove night thorns, a symptom of an expanding malice that is keeping the residents of the valley in a forgetful state. Clearing night thorns doesn't just open up new areas, it provides star coins, seeds, and other resources you need. The night thorns covet more than just pathways, though. During our time in the Moana area, we found the thorns constricting an orb of friendship. In order to clear these, you need a more obscure resource, Dreamlight. This can be gained by completing tasks like planting X number of seeds, reaching Y friendship level, or just harvesting fruit. If you can't tell already, this game is big on player freedom, and nowhere is that more clear than in how it lets you express yourself. There's a slew of customization options for what you can wear, including a design your own clothing feature, and you can change anything about your character's appearance on a whim. This extends to the town too. You can move and place just about anything, just about anywhere, and the villagers just have to deal with it. Ultimately, Dreamlight Valley is poised to have more areas to explore, characters to meet, and quite simply, way more things to do than in Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley. Even before its full release next year, there are plenty of quests and activities you can grind for rewards, so maybe you want to go on a mega friendship hunt and explore as many of the Dreamcastle's realms as possible. Already, it feels like a perfect game for people who want a long-term gaming commitment, which should be welcome news for those waiting for any big RPG releases, as well as those who want something they can pop in and out of at their leisure. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to planning out a full recreation of the Magic Kingdom. Do they have the Haunted Mansion ride building?